Leah. Yes. When was the last time you made a leopard? When I was in college, so a good 10 years ago? Let's refresh. I am from Venezuela, where rapers are from. 99% of the population eat it. The other 1%, they're crazy. So let's get started. First and foremost, wash your hands. Yes. Warm up the cast iron. Mm -hmm. Down in Venezuela, they don't use cast iron. Mm -hmm. They use a vessel made out of clay. But here we use cast iron. Here we use cast iron. It's as good as, as that one. And then preheat the oven to... 350. 350. Okay. Three. This is dehydrated corn flour. About one cup of, of flour and about the same amount of water. Third ingredient. Salt. Kosher salt. And the last but not least ingredient is elbow grease. Getting your hands dirty. The first time that I had arepas was actually in Venezuela. Pia Ligia, who I am named after, just wanted to make a treat for the family. The process is the same, but everybody's arepas come out different in shape. Yeah. There are not two that are the same. Oh, look, oh yeah, look, so look, there look, we look. go. You see, this is what we look for. Those little brown tidbits they will become gold. Mm -hmm. So how do you say the process of making arepas? Okay, okay. El proceso de hacer arepas. Exactly. The process, process. of making arepas. And these guys are, see, oh. on both sides they oh, are nice. they're golden and, and with a little bit of crust to it. Oven, here we go. Set a timer for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yep. Okay. Then it's time to start preparing the fillings. What are we going to put inside? The way that we typically eat arepas here is for breakfast. We like to make them as like breakfast sandwiches with queso blanco, which is just white Spicy. cheese. We're looking for a special cheese that Daniel likes. I like it the most. Turkey, salami, and also jellies and jams. They have to make a little sound that is like a hollow sound. Can you hear that? They are done. Nice and toasty. The arepas are out of the oven. I'm gonna dig into one of mine. I'm going to dig into one of mine. <laughs> I'm opening them through the middle like an oyster and leave it just a hair attached. I'm going to go a little wild. Okay. And I'm gonna have a little bit of this candy peppers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> I did a very good job. Excellent. You feel like you taught me well? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. We hope that you enjoyed it and you get to make these and enjoy them in your own home, too. Gracias por su atención. Hasta luego. <laughs>